if you know, if you know uh, Islam or if you know Arabic, you know the name of Allah is written Lim Lam Lam Asatel. This is this is Wolof. This is ancient Africa. This is Lim Lam Lam Asatel. This is Allah. But right now, you go to the Quran, you go to the Arabic. They told you this is Arab. This is Africa. This is Wolof. I translate the Quran in Wolof more efficiently, more perfectly than the Arabs can do. The, the, the modern, the, the Quran we're reading, that the vocabulary is this, this time, this old. The modern day Arabs for Arabic Saudi and, 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 and Yemen, they cannot translate, they cannot explain those words. It's too old, they call it ancient Arabs. Mm -hmm. And when they relate to ancient Arabs, the people, these are the black peoples of the, 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 the Arabic Peninsula, these are dark skinned people. This is the original name of Allah. Can you say the name again? Leaf, Lam, Lam, Ha, Saker. Ha, Saker, Ha, Saker means the Ha of the pyramid. And this is the right hand. Like you offering power, you offering strength, you offering, it's your right hand. See, the pyramid right there. And your shoulder, your elbow, leaf. If Lam Lam Ha Saka, so using your own self. You see. I have a question. Yes. Um, is there a relation between um, Wala language and Wahhabi law in, in Saudi Arabia? Uh, laws, no, but the, the language, yes. The, 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 the wall of is more ancient. Okay. And the wall of is traced back to the, to the pyramid text. Diab wrote many books about, you know, even a, a lexicon, a dictionary of wall of. And uh, how grammar, conjugation. I lift, you lift, he lift, she lift, we lift, you lift, they lift. The same way they were conjugating, the same way we conjugate, and the same way we write, and the same meaning it has. So while three thousand years, two thousand three, right now, there is no change. Wall of is comedic. Wall of is comedic by nature, by you know, is the paleo. Comedic is the paleo language. Okay. It's the mother tongue language. The wall of is what we speak right now. So wall is a, a derivative of Kemetic? Absolutely. Okay. From Thebes to Timbuktu to Tuba is even, even the same <laughs> line. You know, when we were aggressed, we just moved somewhere else. We kill people, you know, the others kill us, destroy us, stole, you know, burn libraries, but the elders still have the memory. The children are forced to memorize the Mugenaris, oral tradition. So wherever you go, you have the cultural memory, the cultural background, the political background. I saw how they were enthroning a king, so I, I, I can enthrone a king again. I saw how a mighty woman was next to the king, so we should have a mighty woman next to the king again. We saw how we were teaching and raising children, how we were educating them in Kemet. We can do it in Timbuktu. we can do it in Tuba. So we continue. Regardless of slavery, regardless of the invention of the exos, of the, the Persians, of the Greeks, of the Romans, of the Arabs, we were invaded. We're still being invaded. But spirituality will never extend. It's from the mighty creator. We call him Allah, God, Jehovah, doesn't matter. But creator, the, the pure, real, original creator. We have the pure, real, original spirituality. Will never be extinct, will never die. We just carry on from one generation to another, and that's what you're seeing here. Yes. Are you saying that? <clears throat> are you saying that uh, the uh, the, uh, the ability to read the uh, what they call hieroglyphics was never really lost? Because if you listen to uh, you know European history, they're saying that you know it was lost after the closing. You know. Well, that's what they, the intention was to make it lost, and they killed the priest. They found who can read it, who can write it. They slaughter you. And they get the documents they needed, the oldest they burn it. They burn thousands of libraries and temples. Some papyrus they hold back to force us to translate, and then they kill us. When they come to Timbuktu in pre colonial Mali, they did the same thing with Ahmed Baba. Ahmed Baba was writing like this. The, the Bambara actually is even ancient than the Wall of. But back then, Mali, Ghana, Songa was the same area. Uh, Senegal is very, very new. It's just a river. <laughs> and this reminds me also the Nile River. Whatever they do around the Senegal River, that's the same thing they were doing around the Nile River. 
But when they got Ahmed Baba, they made sure that the, the Moroccan army kidnapped him out of everybody. They killed everybody, said, don't touch him. They took him, make sure he, they forced him to write in their language, to translate books and books, to, you know. After they don't need him, they think we have enough, they kill him. See? So, that, but right now, there is an untouched city. In Tuba, they, you go right now to Africa, Senegal, where I'm from, you see the biggest library in the whole world, and you don't see it in no textbook. <laughs> one man, one person, Sheikh Ahmed Bambra, wrote 15,000 pounds worth of paper. 15,000 pounds. And the French challenged him during the colonial time. There were 83 leaders there. Like, you know of Benzen, you know Samuel Ture, you know all those great leaders, they were all killed. They wanted to fight the French. The French were scared of the man-to-man -man combat. They tried it, they lost. So they stayed from the boat, started bombing them. And everybody died. But they couldn't touch Tuba. They couldn't bomb it. Because the man said, you have a spiritual shield. You no matter what you try, you cannot kill me. Let me demonstrate it. Take me everywhere you want. They took him into exile, eight years to Gabon, seven years to Mauritania. He came back more powerful and build the magnificent temple with stones just like this. Just like in Calimbra, right now, in 2003. So that's why I want to go back and forth. I want you to know that history, just like uh, Dr. Clark says, is the current time. Whatever we did 5,000 years ago, we can do 5,000 years later. Mm -hmm. Whatever was in the beginning will be at the end. So we got to be able to find something that can justify your history from the present time. If not, it's expanding. The Greeks, the Romans, the Europeans are able to always go back to Greece and Rome. And right now, they can justify, explain everything. So we have to have that connection. It's coming then, but it's too bad now. It's too too and too bad. We got to have the same things we're using. The bare feet, the making of ink, the scorching on the rocks. Everything is still alive. Okay, let's go quickly upstairs and hold this. Just like in ancient Egypt. A brother like this, who is as good as any guide I've ever dealt with in Egypt. And he's explaining it to us from our own cultural perspective. So we really have a gold mine here. Make me want to move to Philadelphia. <laughs> Thank you. And this, this is as significant as the Sphinx. We're talking about the body of a lion, the head of a, a pharaoh. We got the body of a woman, the head of a lioness. Wherever you see a king, there is a queen. Wherever you see a queen, there is a king. It's a balanced family. That's why Bruno was saying we have to reconcile, reconnect the African family. We need to get married, stay married. I don't want to get to it, but you know, we need to have families. We need to have male and female in the house so that the children feel comfortable and then continue that generation. This is where we get it from. And this is no no pejorative when you see, you know, woman's breast in Africa is okay. This is life. You know, you're feeding, you know, the children, you breastfeeding is okay. Woman in Africa, out of nowhere, the baby cry, they just breastfeed them. There's no, nothing, you know, shameful to it. Isis were doing it, Hathor were doing it, Hatshepsut were doing it. With the life symbol, the Aung, Aidniko, hey, when you translate it in Pula, Aidniko, hey, this is me, Aung. But the, uh, the Greeks, Napoleon and Champollion, didn't know how to read Pula or Wolof. They just used the abbreviation, the A, the N, the K, and the H, they say Aung. Just like you see CNN. You, know, you got to know, or ABC, you got to know that this is cable network news. If you don't know English, you just say synon. Synon means something, you know, whatever. Really? Like, for real, this is no joke. Can you imagine 2,000 years from now, later, there was a collapse, of, you know, of explosion, everybody messed up, and some new race come and find a piece of satellite, CNN. They didn't know English. They will call it synon. And they will say synon is somehow kind of communication. And it's going to become another language. That's what they mess with our language. But if you learn our language, you can decide for word for word. Everything in the hieroglyphics or meta nature is abbreviation. The Greeks know that. Because when you say ABC, that's really not ABC. That's alpha, beta, delta, theta, 
Epsilon, Gamma, 